Hey guys, so today we got the um, the uh, Smithy. We're gonna be showcasing Smithy today, and uh, I bought the number fourteen about a week or a week and a half ago, and I haven't really had some time to use it, and I haven't really thought about anything to you know like a good reason to use it. Um, obviously, the main purpose I bought this was for for uh, you know family gatherings i guess you could say um even though you're not supposed to even though we got covid going on right now but still i bought it you know once things get better uh either way you know i i, I wanted to use it um so uh right now I, I i was thinking to myself what can i make what can i you know what can i uh, use it for um so in the morning i got up and uh decided uh, pancakes would probably probably be the best uh, thing to do uh, especially because I can put more than one pancake in this and it's gonna hold um, you know uh, the, the cooking surface yes it's a little smaller than the 14 inches um, I want to say maybe it's 12 12 inches um, but either way it's a lot bigger than what I have with my other uh, skillets my 12 inch is like a 11 like an 11 cooking surface uh, or ten and a half so this is gonna help me out a lot um, and uh, like I said I wanted a reason to use it so perfect uh, opportunity to uh, cook something on it and um, I've been getting a lot of questions you know uh, regarding Smithy uh, whether I like you know their skillets whether or you know I what I think better yet what do I, what do I think about their um, seasoning and how it holds up and you know, I've seen some other YouTube videos where people are doing reviews of Smithy and most of the time after they cook on it, uh, the seasoning comes off. Uh, yes, it does. You know, when I first bought, uh, I bought uh, Smithy was the uh, chef skillet. And, uh, you know, I, I, I cooked chicken in it and um, I ended up adding, uh, I think it's lemon pepper. I ended up using lemon pepper. Uh, seasoning and then I you know I was reading the ingredients on it and um, sure enough that you know there's citric acid in it so um, obviously if you have a brand new skillet or you don't have you know good seasoning um, it's gonna eat right through it so I figured hey you know I, you know because after I cooked it pretty much left it bare you know it was like you know uh, bare metal um, or bare iron better, better yet uh, and, you know, I figured, shoot, you know, it was, you know, it was that, uh, that, that was my mistake is that I used that seasoning. It took off that seasoning. That's why it pretty much all came off. But, um, you know, as I progressed using uh, other uh, skillets that were from Smithy, because I ended up purchasing more, uh, you know, it started happening with every single skillet. Uh, I'm not saying or bashing Smithy, you know, their seasoning uh, methods or anything like that. Uh, they have great, you know, products, but, um, honestly their seasoning is, and, and it just doesn't, this doesn't apply just to, um, Smithy. Honestly, every single manufacturer for cast iron skillets is going to have their dance downside to their seasoning. For example, a lot of people bash on lodge. They say, oh, you know, it's like a bed liner. It's it's this and that. It's horrible. You know, we like I like to sand it down and get it back to pretty much cast iron, bare metal, and and do my own. Yeah, you know, yes, Lodge has a very rough surface, um, and their seasoning is okay. Um, but honestly, it's just personal preference. I mean, can you cook out of a uh, Lodge? You know right when you buy it yeah yeah you can um is it going to perform the way old vintage cast iron is you know used to perform no no it's it's not going to do it nowhere near you know um vintage cast iron uh, they used to use uh, i want to say silica silica sand or or dust or not necessarily dust but sand in their you know molding process obviously the uh, epa the you know and, and the government banned it because obviously you know that when you breathe it in silica dust uh, damages your lungs so molding processes had to change 
and uh, obviously now they're using sand uh, to you know mold the cast iron and uh, that stuff is you know rough it's it's not you know great um, like the vintage stuff a lot of people love vintage so do I um, so you know with modern cast iron what what people you know what these people are doing are you know they're doing the CNC machining and then they either you know lightly sand them or or heavily sand i'm not sure uh, but smithy yes they're almost polished uh, more than more than you know the other companies um, like field for example fields you can still see the cnc machining process that you know you can still see the swirl marks um, uh, field stargazer same thing you can see it on the um, uh, on the bottom but theirs is also very smooth um, I think they end up doing the CNC machining and then hand sand it. Uh, I don't think they use machines to sand. And it's very smooth because I have a, a stargazer. Um, field, field, you can see the grain and it holds seasoning really well. Field is a lot easier to season. Um, the other one that I, that I like and actually, you know, blew me away was the Lancaster. That one holds seasoning really well um, too. And uh, um, Fine X, Fine X holds seasoning really well. Uh, you know, do they have their flaws? Yes, I mean, on, on in their seasoning. Yes, they, yes they do. Every single one, and honestly, every single skillet, modern skillet, their, their seasoning kind of, after first, second time you use it, it pretty much comes off. So to me, it's kind of like a shipping seasoning. Um, you know, they season these so that obviously presentation and obviously so it won't rust. Um, so if, you, you, if you're using, you know, cast iron and um, if you know a little bit about it, you know that you have to season the cast iron skillets so they don't rust and so that they, they develop that uh, nonstick feature. So... Um, a lot of people, like I said, have been leaving me comments about Smithy and, and um, telling me, hey, uh, you know, Smithy, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts about seasoning, uh, the skillets, uh, things like that. So, <clears throat> like I said, yes, they are difficult to season. You know, you can see there my, uh, uh, my number 10. Um, it's not perfect. It's splotchy. The seasoning is, is kind of like on and off where... It's dark in some spots, you know, you can still kind of see that copper coming through. So, no, it's not perfect, but does it have to be that, you know, traditional black that you see in every single cast iron? No, um, it doesn't have to. It's going to build up and it's going to take time. Um, the only difference is from the other ones is that this one takes longer to build it up. Um, the reason being is that it's so slick that the seasoning kind of doesn't have anywhere to attach to. So uh, when you throw on your food, it's going to peel off with your food. Uh, is it hazardous? No, no, because seasoning is just oil. Uh, it's not a chemical. It's not paint or anything like that. So it's, uh, you know, a lot safer than, than if you're using nonstick pans that are uh, using that coating that's chemicals. So you're better off <clears throat> using, uh, you know, a cast iron skillet. Um, that's the reason why I switched over to cast iron is because obviously we don't want to be ingesting all these harmful chemicals. But anyway, I'm getting a little sidetracked there. Uh, yeah, it's hard to season smithy skillets. Uh, it's, it's probably the most challenging one, but you know what? It's teaching me how to season because prior to this, I wasn't great at it. I wasn't good at it. And I wasn't really seasoning because I obviously started with lodge. I wasn't seasoning properly. Yeah. Um, I wasn't taking care of my cast iron properly and I wasn't doing certain things. So, you know, if you use these, um, not on a daily basis, but more than once a, once a week, you, you're going to end up, you know, in a couple months developing um, that dark patina, uh, you know, that you see traditionally on the cast iron uh, skillets. But it's going to be, take time. And like I said, this one is probably going to take longer than, uh, you know, a field or a lodge. Lodge is, yeah, pretty much black from from the beginning. But um, their seasoning, yes, is 
it's not the best and it's not the worst um, like I said these companies have their own style and it's okay you know honestly I have a lot of cast iron and the reason why I, I have so much is because I love it I it to me it's now a collection so um, you know um, I don't hate one company or the other I'm not gonna bash on one or the other so to me it's it's preference i hope that this is you know informational i hope you guys enjoy this and if it helps give me a thumbs up uh, and then, like i said i appreciate your guys's time thank you for watching